All right, so it's about 15 after 10, Saturday night, June 13th, and Billy and I decided to make a, do a little test run for camping on the bikes. This is uh, personally my first time ever camping on a, with a motorcycle only, uh, you know, like with st the stuff actually on your bike and driving to your destination all on the bike, not towing it up. This is my first time. So we're kind of testing the waters a bit. Uh, he doesn't have side bags or any storage, so. But it, it worked out. Um, but we're almost to the trails where we're gonna camp, and we came up to these guys here. I'm not sure what they're doing. But this should be interesting. But yeah, I'm definitely weighted down here. Not too bad. I'm living the NT8 lifestyle now. We're gonna just come up, come up here to the Rapid Inn Wildlife Management Area, pitch a tent tonight, and then tomorrow we're going to head out to the GWNF, George Washington National Forest, and hit the trails there. This is really just a test trial run for camping for the both of us, just to see what we can get away with, what we need, what we don't need, because for those of you who are watching or not familiar, YouTube is just booming with this whole Ohio meetup right now. If you're not going, I suggest you uh, consider if you're close by. But we're just getting ready for that because we're going to be camping the majority of the time. So we're just going to see what, what we can do. All right, here's the fun part, finding a camping spot at night. <laughs> Maybe it's not so hard. I think I lost my friend. You all right? Yeah, I fucking went down and hit the rock up there. Damn, which rock? Fuck, I went down and the thing fucking went sideways on there. And it you picked it up that quick? <laughs> Where, man. Right the fuck up. Damn, how fast were you going? 20. My fucking hip hurts like a bitch. Damn, you all right, dude? I, yeah, I was trying to keep up with you, and I fucking went. I stopped, and then I. Damn, I always miss the good moments. Cause I'm always in front, but there's uh, been a lot of rain. There's a lot of washouts and ruts and stuff, and I was doing my thing. I guess he said he was trying to keep up with me, and uh, he was going up a hill and got through some ruts and said his front front end kind of turned a little bit. And, he tried to like correct it and he just fell. He said he was going about 20 too. <laughs> no crash bars and the KLR is fine. Gotta love it. Uh, now it's time for a stiff drink and a campfire. Later. Hey everybody, I'm Bill. I'm with my man Rich right now. We're at Madison, Virginia doing a layover. And we're actually staying the night here at Madison, we go to George Washington Jefferson National Forest. We got a bottle of Castillo. <laughs> Castillo. Castillo. I'm sorry. Low, the best low shelf rum there is. Yes. Oh, oh my bad. Turn this later on high. We're getting drunk. We're getting but drunk. on the side note, we have this rinky dink tent here. Literally, it's like six by six. We didn't even realize. I just pulled it out of my shed and was like, yeah, I got a tent. We didn't look at it. And the uh, top that we had for it doesn't even fit, so it's leaking in the corners a bit. And it's pretty much downpouring right now. Yeah. I think it's uh, slowing down a bit, but water's just leaking everywhere. Yes, and it is pouring. <laughs> Don't worry. You drink enough of this. 
<laughs> you won't have to worry about that anymore. Yeah, we're gonna see like babies tonight. Yeah. yeah. All right, so just camped the night here on the bikes for the first time. How was it? It wasn't too bad, was it? No, it wasn't bad at all. It really wasn't. That's how you load up pretty fast because you don't bring a lot with you. We couldn't build a fire last night, so we were eating baked beans and spaghettios out of the can. And cold hot and dogs. Cold hot rain? dogs. We got the bikes weighed down pretty good. We got the tent, pots and pans. It wouldn't be as bad if this man right here had side bags for his bike. I'm, oh yeah, I put the bike down. Yeah, and he dropped his bike last night. He doesn't have crash bars. I wrecked it. He was, what did you say you're going about 20 miles an hour? Probably 15, 20. I went through a that's run. All that ha that's, that's virtually all that all happened. That happened. With the Nick, right the road. Nick right there. Nick right there. A little scuff right there. You can easily paint that. That's nothing. That's even coming off a little bit when I rub it. Other than that, man, that's the brunt. Let's look at all right here. I'm like, this this probably loose. helped a little bit. Yeah, just a little loose. So who says you need crash bars for a KLR? Yeah, you don't need that for KLR. Yeah, Ruddy Thump here. That's his new name he decided. He's going to make a YouTube account. R-U-D-D-Y-T-H-U-M-P. He fell last night, so he's a bit shook up. So the only way I could get this man to go trail riding today is by getting him to put all the load on my bike. So I have all the weight on my bike. This man made me put all the weight on his bike, my bike. I had it yesterday, it was fair as fair. Yeah, he's all shook up. But he'll be all right. Whatever I can do to get him on the trails. Yeah, so camping wasn't bad at all. We got there at night time, so it really tested us. But uh, it ended up good. It rained throughout the night, about four hours, pretty heavily. Just a uh, learning experience for the big Ohio meetup. I think we're ready. We got it down now. As long as his ass gets some uh, some kind of side bag, saddlebag storage, we will be golden. But we're leaving Madison. Wrapped in wildlife management area. We are now headed to GWNF to drive the trail. It's probably Fort Valley area today. Near Elkton, Virginia. It's gonna be a good time, so stay tuned for that. Later. Can't pass this view up. If you can see it at least. Yeah, my bike's pretty weighted down, but it's a little bit more comfortable on the road. It's more planted. It kind of sails better because it's more weight. No wonder why uh, that guy, NT8, Navy Thomas 8, has all that crap on his bike. Probably a lot smoother that way, right? <laughs> 